Set timer to 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes and counting. I'm at this strange moment in my life where everything's changed and I'm faced with the decision to either stay stunned and confused on the ground or get up, adapt, evolve. It's sink or swim and there's always a choice. The decision to make this project came to me one morning where I couldn't get my pencil to cooperate 
lead hand syndrome and that had been going on for an entire week and I was slowly growing frustrated and worried you see, if you don't practice, you lose the skill most people aren't born with talent it's something you need to work on for years and years and I had the fear that my skill was going to deteriorate if I didn't practice every single day so when I feel I couldn't practice the pressure piled on and obviously nothing good came out of it I wanted to troll though I really truly wanted to troll but I wanted it to feel good I wanted to, to be free to draw without the pressure of it having to look good that's when the portrait started I didn't think it through really I just took my pot of colored pencils, sat down in front of the mirror set the time of 30 minutes and started sketching I wasn't trying to achieve anything no realism, no particular style, expression no need for a perfect end result I just wanted to sketch without thinking the only rules were that it had to be under 30 minutes and I wasn't allowed to use an eraser some days I looked at the results and thought oh my god what on earth is this? but I quickly set my judgement aside because that's not the point of this project I was just drawing what I saw that day and in the end it reflected what I felt as I just mentioned this is a really strange time in my life where a lot of things don't make sense some days up is down and down is up so taking 30 minutes every day for 30 days really forced me to sit down and really look at myself for the first few drawings I looked pretty scruffy my hair was either not done or pulled back but as the days went on I started noticing a change I was starting to become the person who I wanted to see each day every day I sat down and I looked at myself directly in the eye and I truly started appreciating seeing myself I started appreciating our quality time together and I wanted to look my best for a meeting it was like meeting a friend every day for a chat and wanting to look your best after a while I even started saying hi to myself or smiling at myself as days went on and I started getting used to drawing the same thing every day I started to switch things up I look into the details more, I start with the eyes some days and just focus on every single detail on the eye just look at it, stare at it whereas some other days I just focus on the mouth which made me smile and reminded me that I need to wear more chapstick looking back I can still remember what I was feeling on certain days where I do these or I can still remember a particular event that happened on one particular day even though these are only 30 minute studies I can tell when I was having a bad day, from the way I sketched as much as the expressions it's as effective as a diary entry what I like about the fact that I didn't allow myself to use an eraser is that not only did it force me to focus but also it made the, the sketch more authentic no revisiting, no revising, no correcting in the end, these faces they don't look right, they look funny, they look wonky but they're exactly how they're supposed to be because that is what I saw on that day and this is how my brain decided to interpret it it's like a raw photograph, no filter, no photoshop just what the artist saw, the way he saw his subject the first time there's a huge part of me that still cringes when I look at these these drawings and begging me to not post them, not show them to anyone because they aren't good enough I'm capable of doing better than that come on, don't show these weird sketches to the world and that's actually exactly the reason I'm doing it, why I'm showing these because I'm going to show my possibly least best work but at least it will be out there see I'm so scared of not being good enough of not showing the best work, the perfect work that I can't even draw without the pressure I can't draw without thinking is this good enough? so I'm gonna post something that is 
probably not good enough. And it'll be done. It'll be out there. And hopefully it will put the pressure off and I'll go back to enjoying myself. Sure, on some of the days I really could not be bothered to sit down and sketch. But actually once I sat down and got started, it, it turned out to be okay. And what's funny is, one of my favorite, favorite sketches is one that I drew after a long day at work and I was exhausted and I really did not want to do that. But turns out it's one of my favorite out of the bunch and I really enjoyed sketching it. It may not be easy for anyone to see as these are just funny faces, but I myself can clearly see the sadness from the first few drawing shift to some other emotion, confidence, about halfway through the 30 day challenge. And I'm sure other exterior things may have contributed to this shift but doing this small thing for myself has really shown me that you can turn things around even get unstuck through challenging yourself and sitting down and just taking some time for yourself so even if you don't draw I invite you to try this 30 day mirror challenge that's what I'm gonna call it 30, 30 minutes, 30 faces, 30 days Take some time every day to look at yourself. Draw if you can, as I've clearly shown you. It doesn't have to be good. Just draw. It's the most effective of mirrors. You'll directly see if there's something you like or not, and it will push you to make a change. It can be a physical change or a change in attitude. Just to be more pleasing to yourself, we wear our best selves around other people, so why not do it for ourselves? 